Well, we thought we were gonna have maybe one more day and I think today is gonna be our last day. I was expecting to see all of this frozen because where we're staying down the way, the whole bay is frozen, but that is shallower water. But we can get through this and I think we have one more day. As you can see, there is some ice here, but I think we can break through that. Kind of worried about that stuff, but they make new boat transducers every day. Winter's not here yet. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the fourth video from the Lake of the Woods trip. This is actually exactly where I just ended the last video because uh, I didn't know if we'd be able to get out today. The bay in front of the cabin we were staying at was completely iced in. So we were like, oh, we're screwed. There's no way that this harbor was gonna be open. But good thing Buddy Spencer's here with a shovel. Break that ice up. We're good. Minnesotans decide when the season's over. The weather does not. <laughs> Are we good to go? Heck yeah. <laughs> wow, is it cold. It's like 20 degrees. This is our final day of muskie fishing. The first three days were pretty crummy. We've caught four muskies in three days of trolling. Hopefully, today's gonna be that day. We've had three days of very subpar bites. We've talked to other people that have fished up here. They haven't caught them well either. So, today might be the day. Today might be the day. Spencer's today the day? What up? Today's the day? Today's the day for Today's the day for a 50 incher. So I told you in the last video I would show you guys exactly how we're dressing to be able to fish all day. Cause it's really not that cold, it's like 20, 25, but it gets really cold when you're sitting out there all day trolling. Cause it's not like you're ice fishing when you're moving around, you're just sitting there. So I thought I'd dress warm, but they looked at what I brought and laughed at me. So I brought, what did I bring? I brought my striker bibs, which are hanging up right there. Those are thick ice fishing bibs. And then I have long, two pairs of long underwear, jeans, Two pairs of wool socks, uh, two layers under this, a thick sweatshirt, a wool over thing, I don't know what you want to call this, this is like a wool sweater. And then this is the most important thing, what are these called? Hoodies. Hoodies. This hoodie's been a lifesaver for me and then I've got another windbreaker on top and then a big ice fishing jacket, which almost all of that is Spencer's dad's. So thank you Spencer's dad for allowing me to be out here. So we're going to get dressed now that we can actually get out and go fishing and hopefully today's the day to catch a 50 incher on Old Lake of the Woods. All right, we have started our trolling. It's going to be very windy today, like very windy. It's already almost 20 mile per hour winds out here. So we've been presented with different conditions every single day. We'll see if today's the day the muskies want to fire. Provided some action at least, because uh, it's been slow. Another snake pike. Another fat little pike. Well, how do you describe that? The feeling of defeat is the pike. Yeah, it just makes you want to cry. We have nothing against pike. Let's let's be clear. Like we're not hating on pike here. It's just when you come out here to catch huge muskie and then you, you troll 
for hours and hours and hours. You finally get a bite. You get all hyped up, to, hoping it's a big muskie, and then it comes in. It's just a little pike. It's a big, uh, big wind out of your sails. Now that was an absolutely unbelievable fish catch. I'm not sure what you guys saw from that because when I looked back, the camera was pointing straight up, but I think Spencer did that when he frantically went and grabbed the, uh, the net. But I mean, we've been trolling all day. It's almost three o'clock. We have just an hour left. This is day four. We've only caught one respectable muskie in four days straight of trolling all day. We were just about to move spots yet again. I was reeling in the bait and then all of a sudden the bait just got kind of heavy. And I'm like, what the hell did I just snag? And I'm reeling it up and all of a sudden the fish was fighting, reeled it in, and then this guy's right okay, here. So here it is. I'm gonna pull him out of the net here. Big fat one, I bet. Oh, it's, it's so fat. 48 incher. Hey, 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 hey. Super fat. Super fat one. Nice. Cool. Dad, leave that net there. 48. The four footer. 47 and a half. Nice. Sweet, but just a fatty. Look at how fat that fish is. So fall mode. Oh. Oh, they don't like that. Super fat fall fish. Nice. Okay. Bring it to the front, Dad. All right, we're going to hold him in the net for just a little bit, make sure this fish is healthy, take a couple pictures. We're going to get this beauty back. Open her mouth a little bit. I can't. All right, cool. Okay, ready? Yep. I'm gonna put this one back. 47 and a half, but full. Oh my. Full for fall energy. Look She's at that. Ready. Sweet release. There she goes. That's awesome. That was it. That was the bite of the day, I think. I don't know how much more time we have left, but I'm content. I'm happy. That was it. Unfortunately, no more muskies on the night. We're pulling out right now. All right, folks, what a last four days, or really five days it's been, because it's now the following evening. That was an absolute mess getting that boat off the trailer. We took it to a shop. We had to clean it, take it all apart, and then we went back to the cabin, had to get undressed, had to eat. Yesterday was just a really hectic night. Couldn't really do a full outro. And then today, we woke up and drove eight hours home back to uh, Minneapolis where Spencer lives. We had really high hopes coming into this trip. We had both heard about just like how epic Lake of the Woods can be in the fall, trolling for muskies, but you know, when you're musky fishing and you don't catch them, you always look for excuses as to why you don't catch them. I mean, that's really anything in fishing, but especially musky fishing. I haven't musky fished a lot, from, <laughs> but from what I've seen, there's always a reason why the muskies don't bite, just because they're really finicky fish. That's just their nature. I mean, the water temps got so cold so fast, the hard cold snap, they were biting so well for the last few weeks, I think it really shut them down. I mean, we were dealing with like 36 to 38 degree water temps, and it takes a lot for him to eat a 14 inch crankbait. I mean, that's what we were getting him on. That's what I caught that big fish on at last, a 14 inch Jake crankbait. That's what they're called, a Jake. Now Spencer and I came in with, well, not expectations, but aspirations, that's a better word, for like five to six fish days with uh, the chance, a real chance at a 50 inch over the four days. Although we did not get the 50 incher, I'm happy. It was a beautiful four days of fishing. We caught muskies every single day, and we did catch a 46 and a half and a 47 and a half fish, which I mean, those are giant muskies. Those are huge muskies, no matter where you go, especially when they're that fat. Now you guys might be asking yourselves, what do, uh, what do you guys do after four grueling days of muskie trolling? We're about to go walleye fishing. We're about to drive like a good hour and a half to some lake in Wisconsin that Spencer says is super good for nighttime walleyes. 
we're going to go troll for some 10 pounders. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the whole series in general. My last group of videos have been like sturgeon fishing series and now Lake of the Woods trolling series. So I'm going to be traveling a lot less in the next month. It'll be a lot less like series type of videos and more just like one and done type of videos, which is what my channel has normally been. So Spencer and I are going to go take our trip and do some walleye fishing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.